Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We greet you with this uh, uh, dua of uh, Nabi Muhammad wasalam, in this month of Rajab. Today we are in the, um, sorry, this month of Shaban. We are now in the fourth day of Shaban in Trinidad. By the time this video is on the internet, it will be more than the fourth day. Uh, we greet you with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and with the dua which is most known Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa shaban wa balikna ramadan and we want to commence a series of videos on a very uh, painful topic and that is that uh, we are struggling and this was the teach my teachers struggled before me and also that of that eminent scholar Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. We are struggling to build a new generation of scholars of Islam. Mm -hmm. If Dr. Iqbal was satisfied mm -hmm. with the scholarship of his time a hundred years ago, he would not have called for a reconstruction of religious thought in Islam. One of the most outstanding thinkers of this age. And this was what he called for, a reconstruction of religious thought in Islam. And no one has answered that call of his better than my own teacher of blessed memory Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari, who pioneered that reconstruction of religious thought in Islam, particularly in his two-volume masterpiece, the Quranic, the Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society. And in that Institute of Islamic Studies, which he established, the Alimia, Institute of Islamic Studies in Karachi in Pakistan where he trained me as a student, he trained me as a scholar of Islam. Their efforts, my teacher and his teacher before him, their efforts were directed towards building a new generation of scholars of Islam who would be the last shower of rain of this Ummah. Prophet Muhammad Allah's blessing be upon him prophesied he said, my ummah is like the rain. It is not known which shower is better, the first or the last. And it is because of the pathetic state of Islamic scholarship and the cry for a new generation, a reconstruction of religious thought in Islam, that we have forced to now, having attempted all my life to teach what my teacher taught me, and his teacher taught him. And trying to explain those who are in error, those who are in falsehood, that you are wrong. And we have not succeeded. They are not willing to listen to us. If we want to bring into being that new generation of scholars of Islam, which will dazzle the world in time to come, then we need to part from falsehood. This is not that we are in falsehood. <laughs> we are parting from those who are adamantly and obstinately attached to falsehood. And so the title of this series of videos is Parting from Falsehood. That does not mean we are parting from falsehood. We are parting from those who are obstinately and, and, and um, who, who do not want to part at all from their false views. And the first video, of course, is the one which you are already familiar. We, we don't have to repeat what we have taught so many times in the past, that when you study the subject of Gog and Magog from the Quran, then it is clean, plain and clear as daylight there is no interpretation, there is no mutashabiha, it is muhkama, it is plain and clear 
that Gog and Magog have been released already into the world. That Gog and Magog are those who have brought the Jews back to Jerusalem to reclaim it as their own 2,000 years after Allah had expelled them and banned their return. That Gog and Magog are those who have restored a state of Israel, a bogus state of Israel, in the Holy Land. That Gog and Magog are those who are waging oppression, war and oppression on our people in Gaza, even as we are recognizing, recording these videos. They are people with the hearts of beasts. They, they don't listen to anyone at all. They are hell-bent on the river of blood in Gaza. They want to throw all the Palestinians, all of them, in Muslims as well as Christians, out into the desert. It doesn't matter. You are like cockroaches in our eyes. We are the chosen of the Lord God. That's false. This is Gog and Magog at work in the world today. But yet there are those who are insisting, arrogantly so, sorry, obstinately so, not arrogantly, obstinately so. No, 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 Gog and Magog have not as yet been released. No, 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 Gog and Magog will only be released when Jesus returns. That's false. Let me repeat it. And let these words be inscribed on my book on Judgment Day. That is false. And that is so manifestly false that it is creating great damage and danger for millions and millions of people who are brainwashed by that falsehood. And so today we say to you, we're parting from you. We will no longer attempt to try to convince you. If you are to be convinced, Allah will have to convince you and change your hearts because we are wasting our time now with you. And more than that, you are a danger to us. So if you insist, obstinately so, in defiance of the Quran, the Quran that you don't even want to study, either because you lack the capacity to study it, or you don't know how to study it, or you're too scared of studying it. We say to you, if you insist on believing that Gog and Magog have not as yet been released into the world, and they will only be released when Jesus returns, Nabi Isa Islam, then sorrowfully, sorrowfully, we have to part from you. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.